So, yeah, let, let me uh, let me pipe in for a second. I've got a couple of examples where that that's been an issue. Uh, so sometimes, you know, sellers will take a look at this and they'll see what the total price is, consideration. They're they're trying to figure out what's the the cash the cash amount they're getting at at the the, the closing. Just remember the escrow there. That's that's protection for the buyer, making sure there's not you know skeletons in the closet, you know ghosts in the closet, you know sort of stuff for the business. Um, and it you know that that it's something to be considered if you're on the on the sell side. Uh, that's something that's very common. Um, many, many transactions. I'd say the majority of the transactions have something escrowed, especially the larger ones, anything over a million bucks, 5 million bucks for sure, over 10 million bucks. Absolutely. You've got escrow in there. That's great. Next thing under section one, you're gonna have a purchase agreement and it's going to be defined as the finalization of an asset purchase agreement, defining the transaction, it's going to include the following terms and conditions, uh, and but so there's another there's another caveat which is a safety valve, which is that it all has to be mutually agreed to. So now you have a non-binding letter of intent of, of your general statement of intent, and it all has to be by mutual agreement. So it's pretty safe to enter into these, but obviously, as Nate indicated, you don't want to do it casually because there 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 come some processes to get involved with generally because you're you know, tying up another business and other people's time, et cetera. But the, 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 you, you have a, a safety valve for both sides. Absolutely. Uh, the assets purchased, and this is extensive. I'm not going to go into the details, and this is a very extensive asset purchase list. But it's, it, as extensive as that is, I, there could still be assets that are missing that could cause a problem. We just did an asset purchase this summer, um, and we're representing the seller. and. Um, it was it was a very complicated deal, and my client basically raised an issue at the very last minute. It was a deal breaker that they wanted all of the contact management data in the database of the company, and the company was saying, "Well, wait a minute, we have a non compete. You, you you can't go off and you can't have this data." And they say, "No, no, no. We have a lot of friends, and we host these big parties, and we we invite everybody to our parties, and we want them to." all of these people, there's 10,000 people in this contact database. And they wanted, they said, oh no, we have Christmas parties. Or if one of my kids wants to network to find a job, it's critical. And that was like, a, that was unbelievable. So you know, that was really wasn't part of the deal. So we worked out some deals saying, identify who, who's on your list and just go in and take out the personal contacts. Another uh, deal we had, uh, the business was being sold and apparently there was some artwork that was involved. It didn't have a lot of value other than a sentimental value. And at the very end, they said, but what about the paintings? Well, but you know, it, now we're gonna have to go and put things on the walls, like that's a hassle. No, 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 we want the painting. So, so they left it for a period of time and migrate. It was just became a big deal. Uh, they were not, you know, these were not works of art in, in terms of like expensive works of art, but it was, it was inconvenient for the buyer to then discover that they're going to have you know have to deal with that they were just trying to get the business up and running but it should have been identified up front just i throw that out there be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications about new videos and interviews and introduce yourself in the comments are you a buyer or a seller